Hey what's up guys Rajat from VFX World welcome back to my channel in this video I'll teach you how to generate 3D track inside of Nuke and exporting that data to Maya for more advanced and precise object track which you never seen before so this will be a lot of fun let's get started So we are right now in Nuke and this is a very simple footage, it's very steady footage. So I will track this box to Nuke and export that data to Maya. Previously I was made uh, almost same type of topic video but that was in very beginner level and not that much good but this is more advanced and more precise. So first of all what you have to do, you have to do some project settings and all by pressing S you can do this kind of project settings. I already done this before. So first of all take a camera tracker and after that what you have to do you have to just rotoscope a basic rough roto around this area because we don't want this area to be tracked we want only this much area so the tracking is done and now what you have to do you can find this mask option just connect with this roto panel double click on that camera tracker go to this settings where you can find this preview features just turn it on then you can see all the tracking markers are here go back to the camera tracker from the mask you have to just change it to mask inverted alpha so that everything which is inside of this rotoscoped area that will be tracked after that go to settings window and increase the maximum number of features to 200 for better track and then go to camera tracker and then start press tracking so here the track is completely done and we have this camera point cloud data and after camera tracking you just click the scene to create then exactly this thing will be popped up here. Now those who guys don't know about 3D tracking in depth knowledge you can check out this video where I'll describe everything in details about 3D tracking. Make sure you have to check it out. Okay so I have imported this can line renderer because as you all know without this you can't see everything. So let's play this to check the tracks are happening or not. Yes this is well tracked footage. This is a very roughly tracked because this is in tutorial purpose uh, video. So after that what you have to do you have to export this complete tracking data to Maya. So for the export we need to add a right geo. So this is a right geo. Only right geo can export the 3D mesh and the camera data. So just select it and connect with this scene here. And you can use a basic simple box here for the reference. So what you have to do just go to camera tracker press 1. So just select simple some points here and then right click and then create and after that a cube just like that. Then connect with this scene and for the textures for the checking purpose you can make it to like a checkerboard and connect it with this like this then just simply press one on the scanline renderer and this is the box scale it down like this now this will be your reference box because whenever we'll go to this maya you're gonna exactly see this box over there so that you can exactly understand where exactly your tracking should be happening or not so after that select this right geo and place your file locations from here and after that like like something like that just press it like a track and make sure it should be dot fbx that's it this should be the most important thing then just press open after that you can find this many options geometry camera light access and point clouds and simply check this all on and simply press execute it should be export so now we have to jump into maya so inside of maya first of all you have to import our track so go to this file and where you can find this import option and then you can find your locations and select your track camera and then just simply press import so this will import your camera and this point cloud so these are the my all the locators inside of maya and it's called as point cloud so you can find this is a camera here like this so first thing first just select all these locators something like that press uh, R here just scale it down something bit like this and just go to from panel perspective and camera so this is your basic tracking footage inside of Maya okay this is a basic box which I have imported and then just simply what you have to do just uh, go back to here like to select the camera here and over there you can find this environment option click here and you can find this create just press create to make an image plane and you can find your uh, all the images which you will be using so just select your footage press open and this will come in background make sure you have to use this sequence option turn on so that when you play this it should be like this so it's just a basic box track is here now you have to make this box to be precisely so then just select this box first of all we have to make sure lock the camera so go to this options and select everything right click and then simply lock select it this is the most important step before doing everything you should lock the camera okay so now you have to get back to your this viewport like this and we have to create a basic box here because we are not using that box which is already imported from nuke just scale it down something like that which is in same positions rotation a bit like this 
and now you can delete or hide it so i'm just press delete to the previous box something like that okay so you have so many locators here so just select this box and make it to the top like this so that you can see it clearly so now you can find some few points that should be tracked well because all the tracker markers you know are not needed here so i'm selecting all the corners here so select this by pressing shift you can find this menu so first of all let me do it one more thing just select all the locators and just scale it down a bit more like this that's it so that you can find all the trackers correctly so i'm just selecting this one from here and uh, this one by pressing shift you can exactly select all this shift and this one and from the background this one and this one from here and go to this last frame let's see and i think this one is good enough so i have one two three four five six and seven locators is selected so these locators are exactly here so just press ctrl and g to group all these locators so these are the groups which is here and select all the rest of the locators you can delete it but you can make it another group and press ctrl h to hide those locators so we have these locators right now which is activated you can see it now i can increase this size a bit like this so that you guys can understand it properly so okay, this is our locators where i will stick my box to be more precisely so select the box and you should make it down so just press here and i'm just making it a little bit of down something like that okay that's fine so the basic concept is we have to make this corner to this corner this corner should be in there that one should be there okay so we have to go here go to from panel make it to the perspective so this is our basic form layer like this so first of all we have to go to this uh, wireframe view like this select the model so this is a selection model though this is our first axis which is this one so go back to here like this now select the model first of all you have to press d because we want to change the pivot point to here and then press v and selecting by pressing v you can exactly snap to this vertex area like this so it means everything the pivot points is right now shifted now get back to your object mode like this so everything is right now set it here so now what i will do we'll select this pivot point and we snap with this one so press v again and hold it like that and simply drag and snap it to here that's it now go back to your main view form here make it to the wireframe mode again so now you can see this is stick on his own space so this area is right now completely object tracked as well so you have to make sure this should be on the same areas as well so first of all let's snap this one to the original place now select this by pressing ctrl and right click you can go to this vertices options because now we want to snap this vertices to this locators so select this locator and press v and snap to this like that select this one by pressing v and snap with this select this v hold and snap with this this one should be same this one also like that and this one also now this is not a well tracked video as i told before because this is a very roughly tracked but in this way you can exactly do the very good trackings okay so now everything is snapped well but if you notice everything is not their own positions now you can exactly change everything with your own style so i'm just making it more precisely something like that select this now no need to use this locators here so just press ctrl h to hide all these locators now select this by pressing ctrl right click go to those vertices option Options, select the vertices and you can exactly make their positions to be more precisely like that so now it's completely up to you how much you want to make this more precise and something here make it to the back a bit basically we are distorting the complete model because we don't know the exact height width and depth of this model so that's why we are trying to distort this complete model that's it now go back to your uh, normal shader view like this and again we have to go back to our normal object mode like this now just right click we have to use assign a new material let's take a blend here from here just go to this blend from colors i am using a like normal checkerboard and go inside of this checkerboard and you can exactly increase uv repeat from let's take around 12 by 12 and simply use this material like this and after that go back here and then go to this bling one where you can find this transparency just increase the transparency a bit higher like that so that you can exactly see everything properly and after that click this film one and release this grid 
and turn it on like that and now simply press this play button so yes this is completely done so guys i hope you really enjoyed this amazing way where you can exactly do a very good precise object tracking inside of maya with the help of nuke 3d camera tracking data so guys if you really love this video then don't forget to subscribe to our channel vfx world because we are very close to 50k please make it 50k very fast and don't forget to follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in the description box below see you next time with some more amazing content till then have fun stay home don't go outside bye, -bye.